Hey everyone and welcome back to r slash entitled parents the subreddit where people think because they have kids they're entitled to everything today's post switch seats with me I used to fly a lot for work living out of a suitcase 35 or so weeks a year it was exhausting but I met a ton of great people this story is about one who wasn't a lot of people think the big benefit of flying a lot is the miles, and miles are great. But when you fly often enough, the real benefit is the status program. The airline I flew most often had a program where they would give you free upgrades to first class. The airline would sell as many first class seats as they could, and if there were any unsold, would give them away to the most frequent flyers. Often I'd get the upgrade a day or two in advance, but sometimes I would be on standby for the upgrade, especially for US cross-country flights, and have to wait until shortly before boarding. So I'd have a coach seat, and if something opened up, they'd call me up shortly before boarding and upgrade me. Which is what happened this time. The gate agent called me up and with a smile says, Good news, OP. Looks like we can upgrade you. We had a pleasant conversation. I thanked her and took my seat. Unbeknownst to me, we weren't the only two people paying attention to that exchange. Boarding begins and I settle into my window seat. Nobody sits next to me and with first class boarding first, that probably means nobody is sitting there. Perfect, I can spread out a bit while I work. About 10 minutes go by when a woman with child in tow stops by me. She says, excuse me, and gestures at the folder I had put on the aisle seat next to me. I apologize and pick up my folder, and as her son sits down, she says, You need to change seats with me. Poor manners, but whatever. Switching seats on a plane happens all the time. I figure she and her kid were separated for whatever reason. It happens a lot with upgrades, and obviously want to sit together. No problem. Me. Oh, okay. Where's your seat? She hands me her boarding pass. 26F or something. Assuming she had gotten upgraded but handed me the wrong boarding pass, I said, This is your coach seat. Where are you sitting up here? There, she says, pointing to my seat. Me, no, I mean, what is your assigned first class seat? Entitled parent, I am going to sit with my son. Me, no problem. What is your first class seat and I'll move? Entitled parent, look. There was a mistake in upgrades. We have these seats. I start to talk again and she snaps. Why are you being such an asshole? This gets the attention of the flight attendants. I don't know if Reddit has a flight attendant horror story subreddit, but it should precisely for people like this. The flight attendant, F.A. from here on out, comes over. F.A. Is there a problem? E.P. Yes, he won't change seats with me. F.A. Sir? She says with a puzzled look on her face. Me. I will, but I'd rather not sit in 26F after I've already been upgraded. F.A. Okay, can I see everyone's boarding passes? Mine reads 5A, hers 26F, her son's 26E. F.A. Ma'am, you and your son are in row 26. E.P. This is a long flight and we've been up for two hours already. You guys give away these seats, you should give them to us. Those seats aren't big enough for normal people. I resisted the urge to ask what basis she had for considering herself normal and noticed that a line had formed in the aisle because nobody could squeeze by her to get to their seats. F.A. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but you'll need to sit in your assigned seats. E.P. No, we want an upgrade. I fly with you every year. F.A. And we appreciate your loyalty, ma'am, but we're boarding and we need everyone to take their assigned seats. At this point, some folks in the aisle began complaining and telling her to take her seat. EP. Look at him and how he's dressed. I was in jeans and a sweatshirt, my usual travel attire. He doesn't belong here. Just then, a voice from the aisle shouted, You don't either, lady, take your seat. The flight attendant fought a smile while I just burst out laughing, which only enraged EP further. Somewhere during all this, the other flight attendant called into the flight deck and a flight deck officer, FDO, emerged, squeezing by passengers. 
EP. We want our free upgrade. FDO to FA. What seems to be the problem? EP interrupting. He won't switch seats with me. FA. This passenger and her son won't sit in their assigned seats. 26E and 26F. FDO. Ma'am, you need to take your seats. EP louder than ever. No! We want our free upgrade! FDO. Ma'am, if you want to reach destination, you need to be in your seats right now. Because interfering with a flight crew means the police get involved. And nobody wants that, do they? She yanks her son out of the seat and storms back to applause from the rest of the passengers. The guy sitting on the other side of the aisle turns to F.A. and F.D.O. and says, Whatever they pay you guys, it isn't enough. The rest of the flight was quiet and uneventful. While I was off the plane long before her, we crossed paths at baggage claim. She called me asshole under her breath, and in one of my less than proud moments, I turned to her kid and said, Don't be like mommy! So that's it for the post, guys. I don't know what it is about airplanes that really brings out the worst in people. I guess it's just because a lot of these people are just really terrible people and you never interact in that close of proximity with them and tensions are high, but wow, some people are just terrible on flights. But this was a very satisfying story, a very satisfying ending, and honestly, I can't even blame OP for taking a shot at her at the end and her kid even though it's maybe a little bit in bad form it did make me chuckle a little bit and we hope you enjoyed this story as well as always if you like the story if you have a reaction to it leave a like or contribute to the discussion in the comments below it always helps us out a lot and if you'd like to see more and hear more posts from r slash entitled parents and other subreddits in the future please subscribe thank you so much for watching and for listening if you made it this far, we'll be wrapping up each Entitled Parents post with a video of our own little Entitled Daughter. Enjoy. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure. No, we're not gonna go on an adventure. Here we go, 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 go. go, 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 go. You're saying it for shaking your head. No, you silly, silly. Here we go, 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 go. go, go. Go, 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 go.